A, work. Work is, so we, back here, we have work equals the change in energy. And you thought you were done with forces, right? Well, work also involves force. <coughs> we'll simplify life a little bit. Work equals the force times displacement, but in reality, it's only the component of the force that is parallel to the displacement. Hence, it's FD cos theta. So if I have, I'm lifting this thing up. And if I'm lifting it at some angle, I'm applying some force at an angle, and I move it this way, the vertical component did no work because it did, there was no displacement, no change in distance in the vertical direction as they go like this, right? It's only the horizontal. We will simplify life. I'm not going to be mean and throw a whole bunch of <coughs> angles at you on this one, but recognize that it's the, it's the parallel to the, to the distance. If I push on this wall and I apply a force to it, and I spend an hour pushing on this wall, applying a force to it. Have I done any work? No. Two why? How do you know? There's two things that you can see that I have, that point to you that I have not done work on it. Have I moved it any distance? No. So that's zero. So d times f. If d is zero, that's zero, right? What else have I not done? I've not changed this energy either, right? I haven't changed the energy of the wall, therefore I've done no work either. Either way, I've done no work. So in conceptual problems, kind of where people will get tricked up is we'll ask, we'll have a problem. No distance moved or no change in energy, therefore the amount of work is done is zero. The amount of work is zero. Or the other way that people get tricked up on conceptual problems is we'll apply a force and we carry it this way, the question will ask you how much work did gravity do on it? How much work has gravity done on this thing? Who, who's, what'd you say? Zero. Why is it zero? It's not moving in the direction of gravity, right? So be mindful. Look at a problem. Conceptual questions will ask you, it's moving, but it's not moving in the direction of the force it, it asks you about. Hey, power. What is, you know, I look at this, these two cars. They go from zero to 60. Both get up to, maybe if that was like, you know, they will say zero to 60. Beetles don't go much faster than 60, especially old ones like that. <clears throat> so 0 to 60, they do the same amount of work, right? 0 to 60, I change this energy, change the energy, change the kinetic energy. But is that the same? Is everything the same? What's different about it? What would be different about these two cars going from 0 to 60? The amount of time it took to do that. So power is the rate at which we do work, <coughs> how quickly you do it. <coughs> how much power was, so power is how quickly you can change its energy or how quickly you can do the work or how slow. So that's where we throw the time in. Time comes into play. The homework system, because they're less than adequate, they have absolutely zero questions available in their system with power. There are no power questions available. So on your homework, there are no questions on power. But there are example problems and videos up there on, on Moodle site. And there will be questions, there are questions on the practice exam about power. So power will be in play for the exam. Now clearly it's not going to be 300 of the questions, right? It will be a small fraction of them, but recognize that just because you didn't do a homework problem on it doesn't mean that it's not in play. It's just, you know, because their system is so good, in quotes, whatever you want to. Is there anybody here actually associated with that that I keep offending all the time? 
might have some stock in their company or something. My advice, if you actually own stock in Sapling Learning, I would be selling it before December 30th. Because I guarantee you, you've had your, you've had your gain in price. It's not going to keep going up. Because if you come to January 1st, when all the other semesters change, almost a lot of us are going to be jumping ship. So. All right. 